Hey, crypto enthusiasts, today we're diving into a powerful arbitrage strategy using ETH. If you haven't yet checked out the QNX exchange, you're missing out. This relatively new exchange is making waves in the crypto community with its price discrepancies. And that's what we're going to exploit today. The price differences between QNX and other major exchanges. We're talking about an arbitrage opportunity that could yield significant profits. Let's start by comparing the prices of ETH on QNX with those on Bybit. Here's the scoop. On QNX, the price of ETH is consistently around 10% higher than on Bybit. This creates a perfect opportunity for arbitrage, and we're going to show you exactly how to capitalize on that. First, we buy ETH from Bybit at the lower price. After securing our ETH, we transfer it over to QNX. Be sure to double check the network and withdrawal fees to make sure everything adds up, but generally the fees are quite low compared to the profit potential we're targeting. Once our ETH lands on QNX, it's time to sell it for USDT at the higher price point, around 10% higher than what we paid on Bybit. This locks in our profits in USDT, ready for withdrawal or for another round of arbitrage. Now to complete the cycle and maximize our gains, we need to transfer the USDT back to Bybit. The best and most cost-effective way to do this is to use the TRC20 network for withdrawals. Why? Because it's fast and has very low fees compared to other networks like ERC20 or BP20. This means more profit stays in your pocket and you're set up for the next trade round even quicker. And that's it. We've just executed a clean arbitrage strategy. Buy low on Bybit, sell high on QNEX, transfer back with minimal fees, using TRC20 and pocket the difference in USDT. While the crypto market isn't always this straightforward, with price shifts, fees and liquidity considerations, a well-planned approach can lead to consistent gains. Stay sharp, keep hunting for those gaps, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, crypto fam.